I'm looking for the Cobra Club, which is um, the old Club Paradise, which was also known as Stallions Nightclub in Argyle Street, Parramatta. I think I found it. Just down there. Um, just up here and yeah, let's, let's go and have a look. I wonder what it looks like now, if in fact it's still there. It's probably not, but uh, I reckon Cobra Club was probably around 92, 93, 94. A good, um, yeah, good sort of mid 90s. I don't know. Yeah, but I've... This is where the, that's where the station is. So I'm pretty sure it was here. That's my. Yeah, I don't know. Let's have a, It was definitely Can across the road. Isn't that it? I don't think so. That looks like a vacant block. It's. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Well, it's not there anymore. I don't know, but surely the um, Let's have a look. the building would be there. I don't know. But it's a vacant block. <laughs> How disappointing if it is. Some of the legendary bands that I saw here were Screaming Jets, Judge Mercy, Wrecking Crew, Horsehead, Mantissa, Death Rhyme, Cyclone Tracy. I think I even saw White Snake here or David Coverdale. Um, they were the main ones, Wrecking Crew. Oh, probably the Jets, and I think out of all the um, international artists, I'm pretty sure I saw Alice Cooper there. That's a bit of a vague memory, and David yeah, Coverdale. The Paradise Club. Yeah, it was called the um, Paradise Club, or Club Paradise. Um, but prior to that, it was called Stallions. And that was just a nightclub. It was more... Um, Cobra Club was on, on a particular day. Yeah, Cobra Club was Thursday nights. It, the promoter was a guy called Danny Hanley, and there was also a really um, kind of cool DJ called Crystal Dave. So he had the big punky hair and he was there every Thursday nights. Um, Thursday nights. Yeah, every Thursday night, before and after the bands, they just still have rock and roll music. I remember um, Skid Row, Trap, Guns N' Roses. Um, I think Whitesnake, or David Coverdale, I should say, the lead singer of... Um, yeah, he did. Yeah, I met him. He, he was signing stuff upstairs. Okay, so I think this is it. Wow, you're kidding. Vacant block, seriously? <laughs> any uh, picks on the floor? <laughs> any guitar picks, any, any, guitar picks any drumsticks. Floor. So there was just a whole bunch of really good bands. There was the Screaming Jets, Baby Animals, Judge Mercy, the Poor Boys, Wrecking Crew. Oh look, so many. And what it was, was just a whole bunch of like-minded fans that just really liked rock and roll music. You know, a lot of them wore the leather jackets and the leather mini skirts and, and just sort of, you know, up the front, head banging to really good Aussie rock and roll. Velvet? The good thing about Cobra Club was that if you were an up and coming band, they'd give you a go. You know, the promoter was always keen to put up and coming bands on and yeah, good platform for it. In the um, 80s and 90s, before mobile phones were around, the good old, Telephone booth here. Hey taxi, I need a taxi. We regret that the number you have dialed is disconnected or unavailable. All right, so let's go to um, check out where the Collector Tavern at Parramatta is still there. That's probably one of the first places that I did use to frequent um, when I started, yeah checking out live bands and following my passion. So let's see if it's still there. <laughs> All right, this is Smith Street. I remember it was on the corner of Smith and George, Parramatta. Yeah, Collector Tavern. It be under that white wall. That white building there yeah, it looks like it's a complex of things. Ready? Start walking. 
There it is, Collector Hotel. Please use front entrance. Where's the front entrance? I remember this was the entrance. Yeah, this was the entry. Yeah. Well, come and sh I'll show you where the bands used to play. This is where the bands used to play. The Whitlams were right. Pokies did take over and, yeah, sort of destroy some of the live music. General Burke is over there to my right. And, yeah, this was another live music venue. Um, mid to late 80s. One of the first bands I saw um, were probably a band called um, DeMont, just a local Sydney band. Radiators used to play here, Wrecking Crew, um, Mal Eastick played here a lot. Lots of bands played here, so really nice Before, venue. Uh, that Elvis and Led Zeppelin, Red Zeppelin. Oh, okay, yep. <laughs> Lots of tribute bands played here as well. Yeah, General Burt. Looks pretty much the same. Maybe a paint job. So that's the General Burt, is it? Yeah, General Burt, Parramatta. Long time ago now. Um, we're talking mid to late 80s, early 90s. A huge live music venue. Lots and lots of bands played here. It's an Irish pub, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, it's, an, it's always been an Irish pub, I think, but um, yeah, just very popular back in the day. Three nights a week, four nights a week, you could check out a band here. Uh, whether they're local, new bands, originals, or whether it was a tribute band, massively popular live music venue. There's lots of places you can go in this town, but there's still only one place where you can rock. Featuring the best of Australian and international rock acts performing live on the big stage. We rock! Rock DJs play your favourite albums and videos from overseas and all around Australia. We rock! Kick back, play pool, dance your butt off, this is the Cobra Club. The Cobra Club rocks Club Paradise every Thursday in Parramatta.